Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. We're here at ISPO filming all week, so make sure you guys check out our social media for updates. Now, Adidas have just released their Claim Freedom movie in full. It was filmed by Cut Media, the guys behind Danny McCaskill's amazing biking films. So we caught up with Cut Media's Scott Marshall to find out a bit more about filming Claim Freedom. My name's Scott Marshall, uh, I work for Cut Media and we were the filmmakers involved with creating the Adidas Terex Claim Freedom movie. So at the end of 2015, Adidas approached us about uh, a campaign they were looking to run called Claim Freedom, which offered the opportunity for the adventure seekers out there not pro athletes, just adventure seekers, you, me, whoever it might be, um, the opportunity to live their wildest dreams, their wildest adventure, the, the adventure they always wanted to go on. Yeah, bouldering is a strength. I think that it's a concentration. I was so psyched. <laughs> like, I was looking for an adventure that was going to be hard, really hard. But, like, it was going to be, you know, at my limit of what we're capable of, not just climbing, but like everything. Working with climbers for the first time was pretty intense, pretty really interesting kind of process. A big wall climbing, I have probably never seen anyone with such determination to achieve a goal that they had set out. You know, it was a project they had dreamed up a few years before. It was a dream that they just never thought would come to anything. It was always going to be that, keep it in the bag. If there's any chance we could make it happen, amazing. So for them to be there, they were just so driven. It was like on another level driven to make it happen. So that was incredible. I have no idea what day it is. I don't remember the last time I showered. I don't remember the last time I felt full. Fadim was amazing to work with. His precision when it came to bouldering, he just made everything look simple. It just everything looked effortless. Kind of poetic in a way, you could just kind of watch him and he just, the way he moved, his slow kind of movements, his precise movements, but then underlying he just had this incredible strength. Two very different climbers and it was just really for us pretty amazing to watch both of them take on their challenge. Pretty much purely motivated by climbing destinations. I'm really motivated to, to go places that either people say you can't go or are so hard to get to that very few people can. Filming climbing is very different to uh, some of our past work. We researched as much as we could about the location and what we could be facing while we were out there. There were a couple of locations we found, specifically the route which climbed out of the cave. It turned out Vadim was going to climb a little higher than five meters. I think he approached 10 to 50 meters. So that definitely all had us a little on edge and made filming definitely trickier. Unfortunately, we didn't have the access to reach him on the wall, say halfway up. So we were limited to the to being on the ice and above him. Lake Baikal was probably one of the most exciting trips for us to be taking on the Claim Freedom Project. Visually, it looked incredible. Every photo we looked, it was just mind blown. And I think when we all arrived, it surpassed that like to another level. It was just every, everywhere you looked, there was just this incredible frozen dry landscape that just went on and on. So the opposite end of the spectrum from Lake Baikal was Sal Tomei. Gaz had submitted a, an idea for climbing uh, Pico Cal Grande, which is a volcanic stack uh, down in the south of the island. It just stood out of this green jungle and we knew it was going to be an, an expedition. It was going to be a minimum three week trip hiking in and out of the jungle. Um, so very, very different to Russia. And because of that, it needed a completely different level of skill set. First and foremost, we needed a couple of skilled climbers who had the capability to climb the wall along with Gaz, but also film. Gaz and his team looked at the Pico Cal Grande from all different angles just to try and work out before they hiked into the jungle how they could approach the climb. They found one spot, hiked into the jungle, torrential rain, 
which basically turned one side of the, the rock into just this waterfall, which for them was kind of pretty unexpected. And again, that, that alone just threw massive spanners in the work in terms of, is this going to be achievable? Um, and if we're up there and it starts to rain as heavy as it was, what were they going to do? So again, everyone was just learning. Like that's kind of big part of these adventures is it's not just a learning curve for for us as filmmakers, like trying to work out how we're going to document these guys that tackling the climb and how we're going to follow them up there. It's like a massive learning curve for those guys being in a completely new location and figuring out not just the climb, but the location you're in and the weather factors and how everything there just had an impact on how they were going to put to the wall. The rock here is really, really hard. We're going to run out of batteries really quick. Every pitch we go, we will need to, I think, three pitches and we will have to come down. After that kind of setback, they found another spot on the wall which had this overhang, this kind of roof, this 100 meter roof, which turned out to be possibly the hardest climb either of them had taken on either. So trying to document something like Claim Freedom is it's, it's challenging. I think, first and foremost, we need to understand what those guys want to achieve and where, how far they want to push themselves to achieve that. And then we need to be prepared to follow them. Like that's, that's a big factor that sometimes maybe anyone watching a film might miss is anything those guys are doing, we're generally having to try and keep up with them. I think our personal claim freedom adventure kind of come in two parts. One was being with each athlete on location and going through and experiencing every, like all the emotions and the high points and the low points uh, and documenting that. When that finished, the second part of adventure kind of began and that was the post-production and it was how we were gonna collate this 72 hours, however many hours it was of footage down into like 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and how we were going to be able to show the characters and what each person wanted to achieve, how they approached it and what happened along that kind of journey. So that for us was just as much a challenge as being there with the athletes on location. Really, really hard. We have been left with some pretty incredible memories from this project. Being with those people, being in those locations and in such a, an intense, passionate, situation was was pretty special so we feel yeah feel pretty honored to have kind of gone through that experience with all of them thanks scott if you want to watch the claim freedom movie in full make sure you click the link below we're by dmm so we're going to head in and have a chat and a cup of coffee see you soon two sugars please <laughs>